So this is my old Catch K4. This is the part that originally broke. I have replaced a few parts on this already. So I bought this as a new part, replaced it, um, but there was something wrong with the switch on the electrical box. And when I put it back together, it wouldn't start. So I just decided to plumb for a new one instead of trying to repair this one I am going to take these off this part and these a holes connector on this is the part that I originally replaced about two years ago and this part actually came on this one with um, it was plastic and now I bought the metal one off Amazon um, and fitted it, it's been fine and like I said this one is the one that cracked this time but they don't do that in metal as far as I could see so I just bought the same one plastic um, yeah but I never got a chance to test it I had a look in the electrical box but to do that you have to take everything off the motor the pump the top of the uh, bracket to get to the box um, and yeah, then it won't start, so I ain't no mechanic. This is the state of the flags before I use the new machine. It's just built up over, over winter. We have these wooden sleepers and they become lethal in winter they get like a green film over them and yeah they're very slippery slips a few times Obviously the green gets worse underneath here because of the fir trees. Again, sleepers. But we don't walk on them obviously. And we're gonna have a go at cleaning the furniture as well. So when you've finished putting your catcher together, before you screw on the hose adapter or the hose connector, make sure that you take this piece out of the actual hose. It's basically to stop anything getting in it and transit, but make sure you take it out before you screw it on, take that out. Use a pair of pliers. I tried my hand, but I couldn't get a grip on it. And it does say in the manual to use pliers. So then just screw the, this piece back on. 